Good morning, everyone. So I'm going to quickly teach you a little bit of something that happens when a Bahamian walks into the room. When I speak, you respond, and you do so with a level of enthusiasm that makes you feel so good that as we would say here in the Bahamas, you show us that you are blessed and highly favored. So I'm going to start that one more time, and I'm going to say good morning, and you're going to respond back. Good morning, everyone. Fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. In a short while, I'm going to invite you to become citizens of the Bahamas by investing in real estate. The Bahamas is where you belong. The Bahamas is where you belong. The warmth, the charm, and the hospitality of Bahamians is what we want to consistently showcase to the world. Your presence here invites and allows for you to join some visionary leaders, big thinkers, bold idea generators, and disruptors who want to create a better world. These factors and more make my home, your next home, a great place to be, and more importantly, the Bahamas remains as the clear and compelling choice for business. As we continue to move forward in the days to come, there are a few things that I want to remind you about. One of my favorite meals is the opportunity to gather with friends and family over dinner. I enjoy dinner because that's when the best dessert is served. If you don't like sugar, if you don't like desserts, stop listening now. There's a dessert that you want to try here in the Bahamas called guava duff. There's an incredible rum-filled sauce, and if it's made with extra love and kindness, and the dough and the fresh guavas just leave you wanting and wanting for more. Try guava duff. When my grandmother used to make guava duff, she would put all of her heart and her soul into it, and I would sit there with my cousins who got smaller portions than I did, and I would hold on to my fork because I knew Grammy was going to give me more. Hold on to your fork over the next few days because the best is yet to come. Whether it's guava duff, an incredible cocktail, or otherwise enjoy this experience. As you do so, gather and discuss big ideas that will change the world. Ask better questions to solve more of the world's problems and understand your own commitment to be better and do better. That doesn't just rest in the communities that you come from, it resides in a global landscape, in a space that we all want to be proud of. Crypto Bahamas is your next invitation to dream big, do better, and help us to change the world right here from the Bahamas. You want to make the world a better place and leave a legacy that's not just simply rooted in wealth, but it is also rooted in effective altruism that radiates through your career, your projects, and your life's mission. As you hold on to your fork and the best being yet to come, be sure that you listen thoughtfully and closely to someone that I've grown to admire and respect over the past few years. I'm particularly pleased to introduce the Prime Minister of the Bahamas, a partner that we here at FTX have grown to rely on and trust as we move the world forward in this digital asset space. The Prime Minister has demonstrated a commitment to doing the right thing for the Bahamas, its residents, and the world. Join us in publicly thanking him as he will soon take the stage. As he drives us forward, he's surrounded by a team of talented and remarkable individuals, and it is always good to say, that they just so happen to be Bahamians. A nation builder and a man who's been prepared for a moment such as this will take the stage now as he officially welcomes you and invites you to dream big, do more, 
and do it right here from the Bahamas. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, the Honorable Philip Brave Davis. Please rise for the Prime Minister. Thank you. Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bahamas. We are so delighted to host this conference, which brings together many of the most interesting thinkers in the world of crypto. I grew up on an, on an island called Cat Island, one of our country's family of islands. When I was running around the beautiful island with their feet, causing trouble. I already had big dreams for my country. Though I can't claim that I was present enough to dream about distributed ledgers and fintech. <laughs> but I've caught on sense. And I believe that crypto innovations are going to have a transformative impact across many industries. I'll say from the start, we may be a small country, but we don't intend to let that limit the scope of our ambition. In fact, our history is one of invention, disruption, resilience, and innovation. Consider as just one of the many examples, the establishment of the Pirate Republic in the early 1700s by the infamous Blackbeard and others. Yes, the Republic of Pirates wreaked havoc on trade and shipping in the West Indies. But long before the American and French revolutions, these pirates were electing and removing their captains by vote. They also were sharing their treasures equitably and having runaway slaves as crew members. Much, much later, we took the pioneering steps in tourism. It's easy to forget how risky a proposition it was at that time. Imagine building an industry that would depend on ordinary Americans traveling abroad to lie on a foreign beach and do, well, nothing. <laughs> and what's more, and what's more, pay for the privilege of doing nothing. And yet, here we are. Innovation and tourism was soon accompanied by the development of a robust financial services industry. For many years, largely an offshore sector, but nowadays increasingly an onshore sector. Today, the arrival and presence of FTX underscores the readiness of the Bahamas to be a home for global leaders in the crypto space. Back in 2019, our central bank launched the sand dollar, the world's first digital currency. And just last week, my government launched a policy white paper outlining the future of digital assets in the Bahamas. This paper sets out our vision and the supporting framework to transform the Bahamas into the leading digital assets hub in the Caribbean and a global leader in the progressive regulation of businesses in this profoundly innovative space. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bahamas is not only open and ready for business, but moving to the forefront of this most exciting era of digital asset innovation. For generations, our people have developed a unique expertise as leading professionals in international finance services. As a result, the Bahamas has an extensive capacity of human capital positioned to assist 
all in the fintech space who look to do business here. In our policy white paper, you'll also note the commitment of my government to provide the highest in tertiary education to Bahamians who want to be in the fintech and cryptocurrency space. The Bahamas and Bahamians all across our archipelago are ready and willing to partner with you to do business in our great country. I hope that consideration of the potential and possibilities in our country will feature in your discussions over the next few days. There are many pragmatic reasons to partner with us, but we think you'll also fall in love with our country and our people. While your many and mirrored conversations flourish around the technological marvels and possibilities for wealth generation, the conversation in this space is largely being considered merely in terms of services, processes, and objects. I encourage you simultaneously to include in that conversation what you can do to promote the common good. In this transition to a digital future, let us do what we can to uplift and bring along the many, not just the few. Sam Bankman Fried's admiral at dedication to effective altruism amounts to a commitment to be a force for good. As you know, change is certain. Progress is not. Likewise, I'm determined to make sure that in my country, this era of dramatic change is also an era of progress. The Bahamas is the third oldest democracy in the Western Hemisphere. Perhaps it is this stability that underpins our ability and confidence to implement big changes while at the same time upholding our timeless fundamental values. We have been battered by disasters not of our own making. Economic storms, hurricanes made more intense by climate change, and viruses unleashed across borders. Yet, we face our future with an optimism born by strength, resilience, and a capacity to innovate. In this room are people whose DNA is probably better wired for innovation and change than most people on the planet. Perhaps I don't need to spell out how profound change, transformational change, can come about quickly. My own life experience is testimony to that. As a boy, I grew up in the knowledge that people of my race, people like me, had no right or ability to vote for their government, and certainly no right to have a say in how the country was run. My grandparents were subsistence farmers who were never taught to read or write. My father was a fireman, my mother a domestic worker. That I might grow up to become Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas was beyond their imagination. Certainly, the entire history of these islands weighed heavily against such a possibility. And yet, here I am. All this within a single lifetime. This was my journey to be here today. Each of your journeys will have, a, will have a relevance and resonance for what you can achieve. And if the world of cryptocurrency is where you see your possibilities, then the Bahamas has a place for you. Once again, I hope that you enjoy your time here. You are, ladies and gentlemen, most welcome to the Bahamas.